All right, hello and welcome back to the Crossword Vlog, aka Clog, Saturday edition. And not to brag, but we're, we've kind of been killing it edition. Um, so not only are we on what I'm pretty sure is my second longest streak ever um, in comparison to the 84, uh, but we've been putting down some pretty fast times. Um, I didn't record it, but the Friday uh, I did it in sub 20, um, which pretty good by my standards. So yeah, let's see if we can uh, just keep this momentum going into this Saturday. Let's get it started. Ooh, nice little uh, interesting vertical sim symmetry for the grid. Uh, way out could be exit. Um, head out or head of the bar. Um, I wonder if this is... So head can mean like toilet. Um, so that could be like something uh, along that line. Um, a bit off. Could be like weird with cups. All right. Physiognomist. I have never heard of that. This could just be cow, although that might be too simple that could be pose like pose for a picture this could be like john shine or something okay one of many produced in a particle accelerator um i almost want that to be Mark. No, they're not produced in the particle accelerator, though. Um, okay. A bit off. All right. King. It might be like, um, As you row Longhorn, Longhorn, I think that's a Nepalese name. Um, uh, but I, I, I think it's somewhere in Southeast Asia. It might not be Nepalese specifically. Um, cogs in a machine. Not just su suggest. Um, If this was cow, then the double O would look pretty bad, yeah. Let's just keep going for now. Successful betters or sesame seeds. Um, what? <laughs> Not sure on that one. I'm sure it'll make more sense later. Gotta be a me. Mayor means best, and a me means friend. Greek goddess of nature. Mm. Main event. Could you look at the time? I gotta run, maybe? Let's take a look at these. Buzz. A selfish sort. North. This has got to be NATO. I got to go. No, that doesn't fit. Um, okay, so if this was a G, like to end and go, buzz could be. Mm, I kind of liked R here, is the thing. Would you look at the time? I'll just keep it like this. Um, fast pace could be a trot, like for horses. That's one of the gates. G-A-I-T-S. 
Um, I think I wanted this to be an S for some reason. Oh yeah. Um, well, I originally wanted it to be like Senorita or something, but RR looks pretty bad. Um, yeah, I don't know. Many a uh, Mauritanian. Um, are there a lot of Slavic people there? Because then that would work with Ive. Um, nickname that sounds like it's second and third letters. Arty. Um, R and T. Sounds like RT. Job actions that come with reimbursement packages. Job actions. Uh, I don't know what that actually means. Question that suggests that's crazy. Could it be like wah? <laughs> like what? I don't know that seems a little it might be right but I'm, I'm not gonna leave that in there um i mean maybe an ant you would hope that it's just a speck of dirt but it's actually an ant and then that would be anti got with This could be Vale. I, I, I don't know what Snowbird is, but it sounds like a ski town, you know, snow and all that. And then Vale is a ski town as well. Um, is that Mule? Like the thousand layer crepe thing? They form parallel lines. I guess those are at the elm trees. On the national mall. Um, selfish sort. Yeah, that's why I liked that R there. Like it's a something or but Okay. Oxford English Dictionary Unit. Um I don't know what unit they have other than like number of words um so make some preparations might be an s here yeah probably an e english class largely unconcerned with the english uh although it could be um something lit like short for literature um, be like foreign, no, that doesn't, uh, I mean, it could be American lit, American literature, I'm sure that's a class. Okay, so I've seen a lot of the clues, but definitely not all of them. Let's just do a full lap, now that I've got some stuff to work off of. Wolfgang Pauli, Pauli exclusion principle and all that. Um, alertness. Okay. Uh, the Han. Tear down to the studs, maybe gut, like gut uh, renovations. Maybe, oh God. Formal adjective after big or good. Good old, big old. Big old. Cool. All right. Forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb, as is my <laughs> habit. Where one might get into a rut. Okay. Okay. 
was originally going to do a lap, so let's continue that. Um, this could be all like that, though. Um, yeah, let's just look at the downs, actually. Maybe a skew. Way out. I'm thinking like a jar, like like a door is a jar, um, but it seems like a bit of a stretch. Also, this kind of looks bad. This HK thing, but leave it for now. Color. I was gonna do colored pencil, but <laughs> that's like not even close to fitting. Huh. I think sloth could be wrong because SR Pro Pry. Two thousand eleven, four letters. Couldn't tell you. This could be scam no scammer has two M's. Um early phases. Onsets. Okay. For a spin. Okay, I don't I don't know what the question mark could be for that. All right, so I think I've seen most of the clues. If I if I see new stuff, that's fine. But for now, let's just try to work with what I got. Get into a rut. I almost think like a ditch or something. Hmm. Okay, what could this be? This looks like sensitive. I mean, that's just a gut feeling, but take for a spin. Maybe just turn. If you turn something, you've spun it, maybe. Buzz. Maybe ring someone's doorbell, buzz it. And that works with that go at the end. Selfish sort. Maybe a user. Um, I've. Or maybe I better go. Um, got with. This looks like content. Maybe art film. There we go. Artemisia, probably. And then Met. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, something content. Record label. Like there's mature content. There's like the, like um, a label on a record that says it's going to have swear words, right? Um, makes some preparations. Oh, probably admit one, um, like on a ticket, probably something side. Uh, Right, 
let's take a look at this stuff. I kind of want ink. And that's the end of that. Also, Veil is quite a stretch. So I'm going to take that out. I mean, realistically, Trot is also sort of a... Let's just have a blank slate over there. Why not? Um, okay. Successful betters. We something. Or sesame seeds. Open something. Take center stage. Ah, uh, there we go. And then mailing address could be apartment. Um, head out of the bar, or head of the bar. Um, Natural jewelry material. Let's look at some other stuff. Dirt something. Lacking. Short. Like I'm short a few blank. I guess it must be a Thai name. Um, Avail means to make yourself useful, like avail yourself of me, something like that. Not just suggest, maybe a vow that you'll do something. And an ewe, like a female sheep, ewe's milk is a thing. It could be race, but I'm not sure on that. can I get here? Let's eat after grace. Could it be coral? I could believe it. Wear something. Open eyes. I get it. Say no more. Dirt road, I guess. Sword. Um, Nope. Last letter to a P. We're on a roll. Like you put sesame seeds on a roll. Um, no something. Okay. Yeah, wait, what, what fits here? can be described by changing its last letter to a P. Oh, um, a shard is sharp. There we go. On the something, I guess Eli, no salt. Where spies work on the it's like on the other side you know not always but All right, let's just try to figure out the rest of this corner so we can be done with it maybe a maison head of the bar Reese's Cups, Head of the Bar, J, 
shall we? <laughs> Way out. Could this be anything other than HR? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really seeing this. And a Maison is. I mean, that is sort of what particle accelerators produce. I think these are like the sort of weird things that you get when you combine quarks in weird ways. Um, okay, I'm just going to leave this out for now. Um, but yeah, we're left with a much smaller puzzle. And then, okay, yeah, what could this be? Physionomist. And then, okay. What words actually fit? Race, but that would be ret Natasha Rital. And then Tis, that's not a thing. Tis Patel. Lace. Eh. Face. Natasha Fatal. Physionomist. Mm, there's a lot of things that might fit there. That is unfortunate. I might have to spend some more time around there at the end of the puzzle. Job actions, plural. So maybe S. Maybe Siri came about then. Con man. And then, ah, nests for like pregnant birds. Ron, maybe? Illicit? Or their side? On the inside. Um, explicit, there we go. Um, who's in the room? Like Google searches typically, something insensitive. Alternative. Um, I mean, it could be something pencil that would fit. This could be peer, though. Some bottle openers. Somehow I'm like thinking screw tops. It's a bit of a reach, but it does fit. Um, maybe art pencils. I was remembering, uh, I was sort of thinking about Senorita there. Um, fast pace, job actions, mm. could be art something else, art. Uh, 
classmate, maybe. No, I was gonna. I thought it was classmates, so it'd be pals. Pals. Let's try peer there. And then art, pastel, maybe. I haven't really heard of an art pastel before. I mean, they're two words that go together, and um, but yeah, it's definitely a reach. Job actions. I, yeah, I don't know what that means. Um, I mean, I'm really out on a limb with this like screw top stuff, um, but okay, if I can figure out a few more confirmations, like the only thing I'm really confident on here is explicit, like this wa thing is definitely a leap. Who's in the running? Yeah, what did the question mark mean? This could be like a Ron X something. Or a yeah, the interesting thing here is that these both sort of need to be vowels. There's the C blank R and R blank T. So I don't know, that, that seems to indicate that something's wrong. Um Okay, so I'm just gonna forget everything that I put in. Well, I'm not gonna forget it, but imagine that it was wrong. Um, <laughs> I'll even take that out. Don't worry, I'm sure some of that was right, but um, yeah, what I'm at. getting here is this like sensitive is it insensitive or it's or is it blink in sensitive um, like Google searches Who's to say? I'm just gonna do a full lap, actually. Um, way out. Afar, maybe. Um, head of the bar. So, would foam make sense? Head of the bar. Full boat. I just don't know how foam is head of the bar. Um, I just don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, but I think I'll just do Natasha Fatale, because it's sort of like femme fatale. Um, Taylor Broad, Last Pink s Who's it? Okay. Yeah, 
I mean, it could just be trips, but that, that's not really in brief. Um, it's like some sort of conferences or something like that. Classmate. I really like peer for that one, honestly. Um, OED unit. Yeah, and I still don't know what that means. Some bottle openers. Who's in the running? That's just a name. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm still trying to puzzle out what that could possibly mean. I mean, like, the who? Who's in the running? Could it be running? Like, it's just there's not that many words that. end in L and are three letters, you know? Till, all, pal. So let's uh let's just start throwing stuff back in. It might not be art pastel, but if I like peer, let's put that in. Topic time insensitive, like I feel like that's not really true. Like there's plenty of time sensitive Google searches. Um Task insensitive? Yeah, that doesn't really make sense. Um, test insensitive? OED unit. Okay. Pastel definitely doesn't need to be right. Okay, let's do Samurita again. Well, I guess it could be something else. Um, okay. Oh, a clip. If you're going at a clip, um, that does mean fast. And then Alex something. Title. Broad. Maybe Sal, like Saint. That was in a previous. Ooh, oil pastel, I guess. Relocations. And a politician is in the running. Okay, now we're making progress. Okay. Alex. Okay, let's just look at all the vowels here. To, to, task insensitive. I, I just don't know what task insensitive would even mean. We're making we're making great progress, but this is a this is a nasty end because um, we got proper noun, 
proper noun, proper noun, <laughs> and a uh, weird abbreviation. Um, okay, let's just do some laps. I feel like this is what we have to figure out, though, in order to make progress elsewhere. Sensitive on to Otto Torstown, Northeast of Snowbird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I still don't know what that unit part means. Tust, tust, test, tist. I feel like this must be so obvious in hindsight. Like Google searches. Kind of like the, it's something sensitive rather than something insensitive. So we're looking for a word that looks like like this. Um, screw caps, maybe. Case insensitive. There we go. Ah, there we go. Um, Probably Earl. I mean, it doesn't need to be, but um, hmm. Alex OED unit. Okay, I'm going to take out Earl because. Um, The like blank LL wasn't sitting well with me. Alex. Yeah, that's not coming to me. I feel like there are two like big ski towns. There's Vale and then there's something else. And the something else in my brain starts with A, but I can't remember what it is. But also I think it has much more than four letters. So I like, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what that thing I'm thinking of is so that I can eliminate it as a possibility and be confident that it's just something I've never heard of, but I'm struggling to do that. I mean, if this is an A and this is an L, Alta. Yeah, like what could this possibly be? Um, Because, like, okay, even if Pierre was wrong, even if, like, this is all unknown, I, 
I think Earl is probably the best name that I can think of to fit there. Like, there aren't that many. I guess it could be, like, Evan or something, but then this would be an EA um, ending. Earl Boykins. That sounds like a name, you know? Earl Boykins. Asta. Alex. Haynes. Anta. S. Yeah, like what? what is this? OED unit. So it has to do with the dictionary. I mean, like, SPLL, like spelling. Like, that. that's not a unit. Um, S U L L S A L L Spell Soul Alex Haney Can you like syllabus? Anta? Yeah, figures. Um Man, all right, this is a <laughs> this is a really kind of nasty ending. Like I said, proper noun, weird abbreviation thing, proper noun, and then proper noun. So, um, so Alta, and then let's just every letter it real quick. Wow. <laughs> I guess that did it. Um, let's see. Uh, you already know what I'm about to do here, um, as is tradition. But I, have, I definitely have some thoughts on that. Strike to claim it. A strike to claim it. And he got it! Um, and actually that, that feels more fitting than usual, um, uh, for a Saturday. You know, we've had a streak of getting Saturdays done and it was almost sort of expected. Um, but this one, I'm sort of just glad to be free of it, um, without, you know, too much trouble, um, at the end, because I, I think that could have gone a lot worse if I'd made bad guesses here. So, uh, Let's talk about the good stuff first. I, I think there's um, some great long fill, um, and it's a nice like shape for allowing long fill to intersect with other long fill. Um, so there's there's plenty of good stuff there. Like take center stage, we're on a roll. Um, Say no more is also nice. Um, explicit content, case insensitive. You know that's all pretty good. American lit, a little weak, and on the inside is pretty solid. So you know the long fill. Um, is pretty good um but yeah i think there are some places where the fill really struggles um so those are the places that i sort of highlighted while i was solving um but i would not fault anyone for never having heard of a maison and i'm sorry but i still have no idea what foam has to do with head of the bar um head of the bar yeah i I, I really have no idea. And then this fatale with face cross. Um, I mean, if you don't know what a physiognomist is and you've never heard of this, like there's a billion words that, that fit with a blank ACE ending. Um, and all of them sort of fit as a, as a last name. Um, so I just guessed that it was the one that sounded more, you know, creative, but that you know, <laughs> I could have been wrong there and been stuck all over the place. And then, yeah, like I've already said it a billion times, but I've never heard of Alex Haley. I've never heard of Alta. I, I don't actually know what S-Y-L-L stands for in this case. I, I mean, I'm guessing syllabus, but I, I, I think the syllabus is like in a college class, you know. And then you have Earl, like, 
Earl Boykins. I've never heard of that person either. So yeah, really, really nasty collection uh, here. And you're sort of fresh out of luck for, um, yeah, <laughs> like, like that's, you, you don't have anything else to help you there. Um, oil pastel is kind of weak as well. Um, so yeah, overall, I think this is a bit worse than your average Saturday, although I do appreciate the, um, uh, the fun shape and the glut of long fill crossing each other. Um, I, th I think that did add a lot to the solving experience. I think there's just some nasty fill bits that are kind of um, inscrutable. It's, it's just like you could have come up with an easier clue for foam or <laughs> one that actually made sense. Um, but yeah, overall, I enjoyed solving it. Um, I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.